to another video and in this video I'm going to show you a complete beauty. This is the 1960s Mercedes Lowrider. Yeah, you never know the name of this thing because I just made it custom built. It's a Lowrider, it's a Mercedes, it's a two-door version and it doesn't have wheels at the same time. So so I will I'm working on the chassis of this thing because I need hydraulics for this thing because this thing is a low rider. And this thing is so heavy and this thing is a really big model. This thing is extremely heavy. Because the cardboard I used is different in this. Now on the front it has a Mercedes glow round lights at the at that time, 1960s, a chromed bumper that is pulled down a little bit because it can, and these little indicator lights. On the front on the front also it has a huge 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 gigantic front with this hood that opens and the hood also has this little part that keeps it up so this hood has three hinges uh, which was very hard to connect because the hood is so heavy on the side we have a huge side uh, with the front and Here's the side mirror that you can actually move around but you cannot adjust it like other some other cars. He, over here it has a different gate lock to unlock it and the interior is like this. It's literally it's fur. The interior is made out of fur. You can see the seat. The interior is very uh, unique of this car and this is the lock. It's like a slot. It's a slider lock, you can say. Let me just lock the gate because locking these huge gates of this thing can be extremely hard because they are so heavy that they don't want to close. They just want to stay open. And the seat is not attached right now, so it can move. This is the back. And there's nothing underneath this. You can see a beam as a reinforcement inside it. It has two inches, one over here and one here. Uh, this gate, however, doesn't have a lock, so it just flies open like this. And you can see the seat over here, you can see the dashboard. Very unique wheel and very unique dashboard. If you look at the dashboard, you can see some handles and stuff sticking out from the dash. So, yeah, it has a pretty different interior and this car is pretty big like if I compare it with other cars like the like the charade this thing is absolutely humongous so hope you guys like this model please like the video if you like this model and please subscribe my channel if you want more content like this and I'll see you in the next video goodbye